bodegas is more convenient stuff for the community. We more face to face with the customer. We can talk, we can offer, we can give you a tip. Okay, tasty. And they can come and say, okay, here we go. Supermarkets are different because supermarkets, they grab the item and they walk away. And the bodega, they talk to us, they listen to us, and they grab the item. It's just two different ways. I'm Carlos Herrera, owner of 2300 Deli Corp from New York. Uh, two, three years ago, you don't sell a lot of fruits. I am produce more fruits, pineapples, banana, mangoes, cantaloupe, orange too, grape, papaya. Since you have the item they're looking for, and in a moment, they buy from you. You have to learn and know what people want in any area. What do they buy in the area? And so you could have it so when they come back, you have it. We are very hardworking people, the bodegas owner and workers. We work in favor of the community. Everyone in the, in the community, they know the name of the people who work at the grocery store. Because we're there for them. Bodega owners are very eager to become part, of, a stronger part of the community. They understand that for much of the time they're seen as part of the problem, not necessarily part of the solution, because obviously what they sell is alcohol, tobacco, soda, snacks, and sugary drinks. But they're also part of the community and they see themselves individually and collectively as anchors within their community. The Bodega Association is the primary association in New York and New York State that deals with the needs and the interests of these small store owners, both regulatory, financial, legal, but also really looking at how do you work in your community, how do you thrive and grow, and how do you change? And that's a big part of what the Bodega Association is doing now, is looking at modernizing, looking at changing, and looking at really understanding the needs of the community. Mira, eh, yo creo que este es un resto que nosotros tenemos, y queremos decir que el Bronx va a ser el condado número uno uh -huh. en los negocios saludables para que nuestras, nuestros clientes y nuestros niños sean los más saludables. Uh -huh. Este resto es la asociación de bodegueros con los bodegueros, más las agencias que están con nosotros y en un par de años nosotros vamos a tener un condado que va a brindar las oportunidades de que una comunidad sea la más saludable. Partner with the bodegas, providing this training that will help them understand how they can um, sell healthy food as a good business model. Um, that's our, over, our overall goal, that as Mr. Murphy said, and we're really happy to hear him say that, that in a few years, you will see many of the bodegas in the Bronx yeah. selling healthier food. We want to get them away from just the salted snacks and start to integrate their existing snack category with healthy foods that these families are starting to look for. There's also more revenue for the retailer in these products. I encourage everyone to go to the training because it, it, it's really helped. You can make combo. You can offer sandwich, a healthy sandwich, include one water and one banana, and you're gonna sell more banana, and the people are gonna take the healthy breakfast in the morning. It's easy to offer to the community healthy action because the traffic is more flowing for us. You know, community coming more to the small bodega like every single day, and they can see what we have. We be telling the people how good it is um, to try something healthy. And here in the Bronx, we have a, a huge problem with the diabetes and the high blood pressure. And I believe that we are doing a pretty good job. All in the, the store, the Bodega Association, we've been working hard. 
with different stores and telling them how to it to offer something different to the people. We have a lot of healthy things here. In the Goja section, we have low sodium beans and all the uh, healthy products that the people ask for. We can show to the community the bodega is part of the culture. If you have a healthy product and you have a, like a, those products they're looking for, you're going to be part of the community. By knowing what the community wants, what they're looking for, working with them, our retailers have found ways to bring in key products and become very, very successful. All these stores have significant strengths that the other stores don't have. And we want to be able to rely on their strengths to, to build this business, to make it a stronger business so that they'll do well and the community around them will get comfortable with their business and all sides will prosper. But they don't care if you're coming from Africa, if you're coming from DR, if you're from here, if you're white, if you, you are cousin. Since you're coming, you feel part of the family. We will be there no matter what, we will gonna keep working hard, serving to the community. So I think the people are gonna be healthy. We are like part of family, you know, when you get used to see a person every day, you know, you consider them like, oh, that's, that's my friend, that's my body.